Well, okay, all I'm going to say is very good 80s classic, okay, Airplane. And, of course, Airplane 2, very good. But, um, you know, I, I like the sequel. Nobody really likes the sequel that much. And, of course, the black exploitation film, Soul Plane. Soul Plane could go fuck itself, and Soul Plane could go suck a dick and eat the shit out of my asshole. But, yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today I'm going to review... Airplane and Airplane 2. How awesome is that shit? Seriously, how awesome is that shit? No, no, but anyways, let's get into Airplane. Alright, so basically the movie starts off, of course, with, you know, uh, Ted Starker, Stacker's uh, girlfriend leaving him. And, of course, he follows her on the plane. And pretty much what happens is the people get real bad sick from the food. Okay, they get real bad sick from the food or they die. No, I know. And uh, mainly it's up to Ted to, you know, drive the plane because the one of the pilots got sick or died. No, I know. Um, anyways, I'm not going to spoil the whole movie, you know, but I w will say this. The movie does get five out of five. You know, um, good cinematography and good uh, visuals and, you know, good everything. You know, uh, the actors are top notch, okay? Especially Leslie Nielsen. Rest in peace, Leslie Nielsen. We will miss you. No, I know, but um, mainly, uh, you know, the dialogue and the writing, top notch. Uh, the comedy in this movie. You know, very top-notch, of course. You know, just random stuff going on in the movie. That's what I like. And, you know, this is just a classic spoof movie. Of course, that it, it spoofs off from the airport movies and, of course, Zero Hour or something like that. No, I know, but, um, you know, the, the parts that I really liked in the film, of course, you know, the... the uh, the people slapping around the uh, sherry or whatever. And, you know, you just see one guy with, like, boxing gloves going like this. And, you know, one guy with a baseball bat like that. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> just random random shit in the movie, you know. I, I really do love, love Airplane. It's a good classic, you know. <laughs> You know, just just ra <laughs> just ra random stuff going on in the movie. Okay, especially with, with this uh, blow-up guy or whatever, blow-up doll guy. Okay, because mainly she's got to blow him back up. There's a part in the movie where she has to blow him back up in, our, in order to drive the plane. But you know where the tube is at? Yeah, it's, it's basically around his uh, area, around his area, and of course that she has to blow on it, and, <laughs> you know, you just see him with a big-ass smile, you see, <laughs> you see him with a big-ass smile, he's like, got away with a lot. Seriously. You know, this movie got away with a lot. A lot of language, of course, you know. Um, a nude shot, one nude shot where people was panicking and, of course, you got a topless woman, woman running in front of the camera and then just, just running back to wherever she was at. And, of course, you know, just good randomness, you know. I really do like the randomness of the movie. You know, but, um, you know, other than that, um, good special effects, stuff like that. I know I was rambling on about because how funny the movie is, but, you know, five out of five. This is a, this is a great spoof movie. I'm sorry, since the other spoof movies, like, you know, epic movie and disaster movie and date movie sucked. Yeah, pretty much so. So, you know, you're never going to get, um, a classic like this ever again. And, of course, you know, Airplane 2. Which, you know, um, Ted comes back, of course, you know, and his girlfriend, and of course, that they, they gotta stop, uh, you know, they, they gotta, uh, you know, like, stop the plane from, you know, taking over itself, this and that, 
and yada yada. No, I know, but you know, it's still a good sequel, you know. But I know, I know, it's not going to be as good as the first movie. Come on, the first movie, the first movie is excellent. Okay, you, you can't you can't do comedy justice with the sequel, you know, because the sequel just like is like okay, you know, it's still good for me, but it's okay though. You know, E.T. makes a cameo. I forgot to mention that E.T. makes a cameo, but. You know, E.T. looks like other shit in this film. Okay, he does. I'm not going to even lie. He looks like other crap. And, you know, it's not really E.T. It's just some guy in a suit. You know? No, I know. But um, anyways, you know, um, the cinematography was okay. You know, the visuals was okay. Um, you know, the comedy sometimes was a little bit funny. Not that much as, you know, this movie. You know, because this movie had it all, you know, the randomness, the, the comedy, you know. No, I know, but mainly, air, for some reason, Airplane 2 does not work sometimes. It works most of the times, you know. But I'm just going to be honest with you as a reviewer, you know. Sometimes it makes you chuckle, sometimes it, it does not, you know. But, um... Yeah, I, I gotta say that it does not beat the first one. No, it does not. It, it does not beat the first one. Because the first one is excellent, you know, it's real funny. No, I know. Um, the acting is okay in this, you know. Um, the writing, they could have done a little bit better, you know. Um, the way that the film was set, they, they could have they done way better, but... You know, um, overall, you know, just still a good sequel, you know, just don't go into it with high hopes, you know, but, uh, yeah, pretty much so, you know, just like, uh, I, I don't know, man, it's, it's really up to you, if you want to watch the sequel, you, you could, and if you don't, then whatever, I understand, but at least you have to watch this movie, okay, you have to watch this movie, okay, no, I know, and um, mainly let me do a quick rant on Soul Plane, even though I, I did this movie sucks on it. You know, I still think the movie is a piece of shit. Why, why would you make a black exploitation film off of this? Seriously, like, why? Why would you make a black exploitation comedy parody film of this? This worked way better than your shitty Soul Plane, okay? I'm sorry, Soul Plane... I don't know, how, how the fuck does that movie get praised? I, I just don't understand. And people be talking about Soul Plane all the fucking time, but, you know, when you try to talk with, with you know, that, them about Airplane, they're like, no, 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 no. No, this was terrible. What are you talking about? Soul Plane is a t other terrible piece of shit that takes from this movie. This movie does it way better, and it's way funnier. Because, to be honest with you, Soul Plane is not funny at all. It's other train wreck. At least this knows what the fuck it was doing. Okay, seriously. Th this movie knows what the fuck it's doing. Okay. But I'm, I'm just going to tell you. You know, uh, Soul Plane. Okay, Soul Plane is one of the worst um, parodies I've ever fucking seen in my life. And, you know, Airplane is one of the better parodies I've seen in my life. You know, I will ho always hold this in regard as, you know, one, one of the best parody movies ever made, of course, of the 80s, okay? But what I'm trying, I'm trying to point out to you is, you know, Soul Plane, Soul Plane was made for the wrong reasons, okay? And, you know, half of the time, from what I heard, the director and, and the commentary said he didn't even know what the fuck he was making. Okay, first of all, these people knew what they was making, okay? Uh, you know, over-the-top comedy film that didn't take itself way too seriously. And, you know, just ra random dialogue and jokes, okay? What Soul Plane consists of is sex jokes and, you know, just stupidness, okay? Just stupidness and also that it, it took the, the plot, you know, where the people get sick from the food. Well, in this case, people die from the mushrooms, okay, from smoking mushrooms or eating mushrooms on the plane. So, yeah, you, you couldn't be original movie. You have to take from this movie. No, I know, but um, anyways, I'm just going to end it off here. You know, that was my movie review 
on Airplane and Airplane 2 and my rant on Soul Plane. Okay, and I am out. Peace.